Honorable Chief Minister, sir. thank you very much for your kind words uh, this morning. It uh, definitely encourages us a lot. It uh, makes us commit more as an industry. One for the industry that's based here, because I also speak on uh, behalf of the Baltic industry. Hyderabad is known as the Baltic capital. Of course, my colleagues from uh, B BDMA will speak more about it. But just on behalf of the ITA, ITA is the Indian Pharmaceutical Alliance, which comprises of 20 top companies, you know, who are of Indian origin. And they comprise of almost 40% uh, of the sales uh, in India and also 60% of the exports. These companies also invest into research. So it's the top companies in India. So our only request, uh, my only request on behalf of the pharmaceutical industry from India is the following, which is a lot of people want to set up a base in the state. But it all depends on the tax incentives. You know, so that's, that's something that they're looking forward to because uh, there is an expectation because we have also gone into different areas. For example, Dr. Reddy's has set up a unit in Himachal Pradesh when there was a tax concession of almost, uh, you know, the 10 years tax holiday on the excise part of it and also some income tax concessions. So this will be a prime mover for any investments into, uh, you know, uh, to Hyderabad. The advantage they would seek is compared to going into remote areas, if, if it is somewhere closer to Hyderabad, if you're able to get any kind of incentives, because of the strong availability of skilled manpower, that would attract them very much. You know, that would be the major thing. So this is something which will be very pointedly attract investments in the very short term. So that's something I would urge you to look at. The second part is, uh, you know, especially on the R&D. I think some of my colleagues have also talked about uh, Hyderabad being an innovation hub. Uh, there is the Genome Valley here, which has done extremely well, uh, attracting a lot of incubators. If more and more such clusters are created, because only innovation can take this pharmaceutical industry forward. So if there's anything that can be done on this front, it will be fantastic for us. So uh, these two were the pointed ideas which I had. The other part of it is which you briefly addressed when you talked about the pollution control board. So I won't go into pollution control board subject, but especially when it comes to regulatory issues, because ease of doing business is very important for the pharmaceutical industry. We suffer a lot because of multiple inspections. A uh, lot of things are actually unnecessary. You know, self-certification is something uh, that you can definitely do, especially companies which have uh, grown and flourished in Hyderabad for all these years. You know, at least uh, something can be done on that front. Uh, I think it was a positive step when, uh, especially when this bifurcation took place. In terms of appointing the, the drug controller of Corp Telangana, you have chosen not to appoint a police officer. Right? So it can be a very controversial statement from my side, but actually it helps the industry very much, sir. I just wanted to thank you for that. Right? So just these few words, sir. Thank you very much.